just this good here, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to simulate a tilt shift in Photoshop. This is a really easy effect, um, although you might think it might take a lot of effort, it's actually very simple. What you want to do is duplicate your layer, so we can begin working with it on a new layer. Now go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Here's where you choose the amount of depth you want to blur. Let's, I'm going to use 5. If you want less of a blur, use 2.5. If you want more of a blur, use 7.5 and so on. So let's just stick with 5. Now this blurs the whole picture. So what are we going to do? We're going to add a layer mask. Let's go to Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal All. Now you see this white layer mask goes up. White reveals and black conceals. So if we grab our gradient tool, head over to the default black and white gradient, make sure your colors on black and white if you want to use that one, and you have all these choices of gradients. Select the reflected gradient, which is sort of like a light beam. Make sure reverse is not checked and your gradient is going from black to white. So now drag on a portion of your picture make sure the layer mask is selected and you'll see that the black areas of the what would be the gradient hide this layer and show the layer that's underneath which is the unblurred image which creates a tilt shift effect where only a center portion of the image is not blurred as you can see on the layer mask you can see the gradient the black and white one and this creates a really nice effect but you can also use different types of gradients to do this such as the radial gradient. So let's do the same thing, duplicate the layer and since I just used Gaussian Blur you could do it all over but if you hit Command F or go to that choice right there it just redoes the last filter. That's a useful tool to know. So let's add the layer mask again and this time we're going to use a radial gradient and we're going to highlight this couple here so drag out from the center of your circle outwards. That's a little small. Let's, let's grab it a little more. I'm holding shift to constrain proportions, by the way. And as you can see, we've highlighted this couple very simply. And from here, you can experiment however you like, add any type of color adjustments that you want, and there's your finished products. Two different ways to use it this city way is real popular. If you like this tutorial, make sure to check out these other tutorials that I've made. And if you want to be notified of when I make future tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel.